Hi, I'm Matthew Buzzy with PC Mag, and I'm here with Cliff from MSI, uh, known for their gaming laptops, of course. Um, but they have something today that's for the creative professionals among us. Uh, Cliff, do you want to show us what you're unveiling today? Yeah, thank you for having us in here. So obviously, as you say, MSI is really well known for gaming uh, laptops. But uh, for the past two, three years, we have been doing quite a bit of the business laptop and the content creation laptop. Right in front of me is something new, uh, is our created Z16. This is a very unique design. Uh, this is a unibody CNC, so it's very sturdy and it feels really solid. Uh, the coolest part of this is the screen itself. So this is a 16 inch, 16 by 10 QHD panel. Um, this is a QHD plus and 120 Hertz panel. So uh, we do have a touch panel options on this one. Uh, the cool part about the 16 by 10 screens is you we give you roughly about 11% more on screen wise, especially for content creators which needed more uh, viewership on that one like people like me even when I'm doing Excel, I'm able to scroll much less because I see much more rows on those. Um, keyboard sidewise is also a single unibody CNC design uh, keyboard is using our steel series per key RGB keyboard. And this one is using a mini LED backlight. So this mini LED backlight helps uh, keeping the unit much thinner. Uh, obviously we still have the uh, fingerprint. That keyboard looks much like the, uh, the MacBook keyboard at a glance. I'm sure this is somewhat of a, a competitor for that sort of user. Uh, yeah, the, the whole goal of the design and everything, you know, MSI is trying to go to the premium uh, content creator laptop. So this is something that obviously the, the model that you talk about is something that we aim for. We try to go after into that kind of uh, customer base. Um, so pretty much this is the whole idea, uh, very sleek, very good and very easy to travel. As I was saying, it is uh, roughly about 16 millimeter thick and roughly about 2.2 kilogram in weight. So it is a great unit to carry around um, and uh, very sturdy enough because people who travel with this, they will be doing a lot of content outdoors, uh, like away from it. So this one also come with a 90 watt hour battery. Uh, so should be enough power uh, to, to run all whole day out there. Nice. Um, and of course, content creators need their connection, they need peripherals, they need storage, they need extra monitors. What sort of ports uh, are we looking at on this system? Yeah, good that you bring this up. So because this is using the 11 Gen H uh, CPU from Intel, uh, we do have a Thunderbolt 4 ports uh, uh, built in in here. So as you can see in here, we have a dedicated DC in, power in, um, and then in here is USB-A, and then Thunderbolt 4 audio, and then the other side, we also have USB-A and uh, an other Thunderbolt 4 and a micro SD card. So uh, it's great enough to, to be connecting and, uh, and the, also the, the Thunderbolt 4, you can charge the laptop on the go. Uh, so if you are away from the power plug or something like that, you can still charge the unit uh, by itself. Very cool. Um, you, you alluded to it with the, um, the ports. Um, tell us what is inside this unit. Obviously, components are vital for uh, creative professionals. I know some people see a laptop that thin and are not sure that it has the juice to run you know, uh, various editing programs and all the other applications that creators need. So tell us more about the processor. Um, I'm sure the RAM can scale and if there's any uh, discrete graphics options as well. Yeah, of course. Uh... For people who really need to do the audios and everything, we really need um, you know, graphics to run it. So this one will have a built-in 3060s graphic card, the RTX 3060 built-in. Uh, as you say, you know, the memory, we can push it all the way up to a 64 gig option. So, uh, and also the SSD itself is also using a Gen 4 because of the 11 Gen Intel. So it should be very fast and um, we will be able to expand it because they have two different ports, uh, uh, two different M.2 slots inside. Very cool. Um, are there any other uh, creative focused features or any other design aspects you'd like to talk about either software or hardware? Yeah, so uh, softwares, MSI, obviously we do have our MSI Center Pro, which you can fine tune different uh, softwares, priority, that type of stuff. Uh, 
obviously it have a built-in webcam so you if you do audio uh video conferencing and stuff like that the software itself also have noise cancellation uh on top uh the screen itself i haven't talked a little bit too in depth but this one is a uh kelman um certified alongside with the delta e less than two so the current accuracy is perfect just for the content creations very cool um and finally i guess if that's all uh price point availability um what's the starting price at least for this i'm sure all the options you mentioned it it can scale a good way up but uh starting price and availability is is always what everyone wants to know so the price is somewhere around like the 23.99 to 29.99 range uh, we have a lot, obviously, we have a lot of different options, this and that, but it will be within the $2,000 range, which is uh, still very solid, you know, versus the competition. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is not, as you may have guessed, if you've listened to the specs and features, uh, an entry-level laptop, um, the the types of systems it's competing with are, are expensive and uh, are for professionals who need that sort of power. So um, you already probably know what you're getting into if you're shopping in this sort of, uh, this sort of category range. Um, I think that's all then. Um, we, of course, look forward to putting this through its paces uh, on our full suite of benchmark tests and uh, giving you a full review when it's available. Um, thank you so much, Cliff, and uh, check in for the full review on PCMag.com.